Hey guys, Jason here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a wavy flag with raised textured text. I'm going to start a new model. I'm using 22 by 12 uh, max resolution and we're using inches. The first thing I want to do is import my flag. If I go to bitmaps and import, I downloaded this image of the USA flag. We're going to go to our bitmap to vector tool and I'm going to start by reducing the colors. And we're going to go down to the basic three colors that the flag has. Red, white, and blue. I'll press apply. The first lines that I'm going to make are going to be the red stripes. Now I want to these to have very sharp edges. So I have my smoothness set to zero. And if I turn off the picture, you can see that we've gotten all of the stripes. The next thing I'm going to do is the blue. So if I click on the blue down here and we create vectors. And that's going to give us our vectors for all of the stars. Let's go back to our 3D view. Now I want to make this flag an appropriate size. I'm going to highlight all of these vectors. And we're going to go to transform. And the correct ratio is 10 by 19 for the flag. So we're just going to change the dimensions here to a 10 by 19. Press apply. And then I also need a border around my flag as well. So we're just going to create that really quick. And we're also going to use a 19 by 10 box for our flag. And now we're ready to create the flag. First I want to group together the stars and the stripes. So if I highlight all of the stars and we're just going to group those together. And then we're going to do the same thing with the stripes. I'm going to group those together. That just makes it easier to work with. If I highlight all of my vectors and I'm going to unselect the border vector and I'm going to unselect the stars. We're going to go to our shape editor and I'm going to add a flat plane of a quarter inch. Press apply and if I turn that to the side you can see that we've made our raised stripes. Now I want to give the whole flag another quarter inch. Now I'm going to pick that border vector. We're going to add another quarter inch giving our total height of a half an inch to our flag. I'll press apply. Now we need to create our stars. I'm going to select the stars. I'm going to turn off these vectors so we can see what we're doing. We're going to go to subtract and because the stars are pointed we're going to use the square. And If I zoom in you can see that using the square gives us nice sharp stars. But I'd like them to be a little deeper. Now we could use a start height of like 0.25 but that's going to start the star a quarter inch down which is not exactly what I want to do. Instead we're going to scale to height and we're going to use the 0.25 here and that's going to scale the height of that star down a quarter inch. So now our stars are a quarter inch down. You can change the angle. I like 45 degree because we're going to be using a 90 degree bit and 45 is half of that and so that makes using a 90 degree bit to cut this very easy. So we're going to press apply and now we have our flag and we're ready to make it a wavy flag. And to make it a wavy flag we're simply just going to use our, our carving tool and our deposit tool. First let's use the deposit tool and we want the size of the radius to be fairly large because we're going to be using a big portion of the flag. And normally you would use the strength on just one but for this we're going to put it on about 10%. And I'm just going to make some passes through my flag and now I'm going to go to the carve tool and I'm going to go right on the insides of those where I just made that and I'm going to create a little carve. It doesn't have to be perfect or pretty. Okay, and now we've given it a pretty good wave. Let me turn my vectors back on. I want to highlight this outside vector. We're going to go up here and zero outside a vector. That's going to give the outside of our material back straight. And now we have our wavy flag. We can turn off our vectors here to see that. A nice wavy flag. We can scale the height of this because it's pretty high. When we added all the waves, it transformed it almost to an inch tall. Let's move this back to a half inch, press apply, and now our entire flag is a half inch wavy flag. 
I'd like to add a frame. I'm going to use an offset. Let's make this frame a half inch. And we're going to go outwards. And I'm using sharp corners. Offset. Select that inner vector again. And the outer vector. And let's try adding a round. 0.75. And let's apply. Now we've created this nice little round frame. You could always add a texture to that frame. You could smooth that frame over. If we go to our smoothing tool. Selected vector. And smooth it down. Make it look, look a little better. Okay, now we're ready to add our raised text. Okay, to make the letters, let's go to our text tool. We need really big letters. Let's type USA. Let's use the caps. USA. And we want this much bigger. Press F9 to center. And while it's highlighted, we can change the font. If you hover over the font where the arrow is while you have it highlighted and you use the up and down keys, you can rotate through all of the different fonts to look to see the one that you want to use. And you just want to find a font that looks good for your project. And let's just go with the standard Arial Black. We can make it bold. I think we have it italicized. Let's turn that off. F9 to center. And let's go ahead and create those. And we can transform and resize this to fit our project better. F9 to center. Okay, I'm liking the way that looks. So now all we need to do is go to our shape editor. We're going to press replace so that our text comes through on its own. I'm going to select 0.65. Let's turn off our vectors. And you can see that gives us our raised text. It's a little high. If we went to 0.6, um, 0.55. So 0.55 and we are still above the flag but below the frame. We're going to press apply. Now all we need to do is give us the USA a texture. Go back to our vectors and with the USA highlighted, we're going to go to our texture tool and we're going to have selected vectors so that we're only texturing the USA. I'll turn off my vectors so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to select a file. I have this camo pattern that I just found online. It's Woodland Digital Camo Pattern. I'm going to select that pattern. And I'm going to change the height. Right now it's 12 by 12. I'm just going to make this like 5 by 5. And I only want this detail or this texture to be 0.1 inches tall. We'll see what that looks like. Press apply. And now we have a wavy flag with textured raised text in a frame. Guys, if you found this content useful, consider subscribing to the channel. Give us a like and share this with someone. Thanks guys. See you on the next one.